Are you looking to start a podcast? Yes! Then see this episode's show notes for our unique promo code to get up to two months of free podcasting service with Libsyn when you sign up for a new account. Get your show on Apple and Spotify. Get helpful audience building stats and all the support you need to sound your best. They can even do video. Bring your podcast to life and have your voice heard here, there, and everywhere with Libsyn. Again, see our show notes for our unique Libsyn promo code and get podcasting. Hello, this is Tom Brevoort. You are listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. Welcome back, loony listeners. You are listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. This is episode 346, and you are, of course, with your high priest of Konshu, Rebecca. Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back. (laughs) Yes, it's uh, fantastic to have you back to, whoa, bit of movement again there, Rebecca. Bit of cat movement there. Freak me out uh, on the video. (laughs) Aussie slinks (laughs) away. Um. But yes, listeners, thank you. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for, for joining us as I re- regain my composure. Uh, Rebecca and I, we have returned, and my gosh, the end of a run, last issue, last episode was fantastic. It could not get any better, or can it, Rebecca? That's what I'm asking. Or can it? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Um, and so, yes, Rebecca and I, we will be covering a new Moonshine. It came out very recently, Vengeance of the Moon Knight. It came out uh, of the time of this recording, yeah, the Wednesday, just gone. So Yeah, um, this is, we're bang on schedule. We wow. are bang on schedule, so cannot wait to talk about it. Yeah. But first off, Rebecca, oh, actually, first off, a big thank you, of course, to everyone, to all our Patronis um, and all our sponsors as well. Thank you for keeping the lights on. It's very much appreciated. Um, I, I've... I don't know about you, Rebecca, beginning of the year, new vigor, can't wait to get into to podcasting and, you know, going through this new series. It's just so exciting. I mean, look, we have a lot to, to look forward to this year. Yes. And uh, this is one of them. This is this series and what happens next. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> all very exciting. Oh. So. I haven't really followed that much these solicitations, Rebecca. Are we, is there a no, manual well, or we, anything like that coming out? Or I, I don't think we've had. Um, I don't think we, well, we haven't had anything past March, so we don't know. But there was a discussion on the Facebook page about whether apparently the first volume of Avengers of the Moon Knight. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it might only be four issues. Yeah. Or is issue one to four, so maybe eight issues, or we don't know. Um, obviously none of that is really set in stone ever. So uh I better mean, not be a, better not be a mini series, Rebecca. It better not be well, a Well, I don't know. I mean, I think I think the prevailing <laughs> argument is that if it is, it'll segue straight into the next one mm. again and we'll get this kind of like Okay, okay. Trilogy. Happy with that. <laughs> I, tried to, I was like, what do they call it in uh, in Star Wars? Well, like a second. Though, interestingly enough, yes. breaking news. Oh. You heard it. For, oh, no, it's not here. Yeah. It's not. No, it's hard to look for because you have to look for the new Vengeance of the Moon Knight. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the old one, which is not the very old good one. in its own run. Well, I still. Two volumes. So. I, I still love it, that one. Oh, it's called. Cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I love it as well. It's. Uh... God, it's. So, yeah, so there was some discussion about how long will it be, and so I'm guessing at some point we'll find that out. So there's a lot of there's you know that's just shelve that as another yeah. thing to uh, be aware of is that we only know about the first three issues so far. Yeah, and then this hint that the uh, trade might only be one to four. I can I can actually roll with that kind of theory, Rebecca. If this is like mm-hmm. a tran- transitional. Mini yeah, um, to volume Mario's 10. suggested what the next title will be. It's like, uh, um, Mario. it makes sense. It yeah. sounds perfectly. Yeah, no, I think he's he's you know obviously knows his stuff, and it yeah. sounds very reasonable. And but I don't think any of us were expecting four issues, so we will see. 
And I know you voiced your opinions there, Rebecca. I don't know, four issue trays? What you, I'm not, I'm I do not, not like four Yeah, issues, I'm not really. I'm not a fan. It should be five or six, yeah. in my opinion. Or just release it as a prestigious format or something. You, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. call it a trade. Anyway, uh, still excited. Of course, Vengeance of the Moon yeah. Knight, I cannot wait. Um, before we get into, into that discussion, Rebecca, a bit of white noise. Now, I had alluded to it before about what might be coming up for ITK uh, for a big 350th. Oh, yeah. So um, I have already let the Patroonies know, but uh, fair loony listeners, um, I'll need I'll need you to keep your, your ears and your eyes close to our social media platforms. Our three hundred and fiftieth episode, and um, we will have a another game show, which which was a lot of fun <laughs> last time. Let's see if I can sneak in the boxer short uh, question, Rebecca. Um, Please do. <laughs> but yes, uh, the. For our celebration 350th episode. So uh, what will happen is um, I have reached out to Patruni, so Patreon members, um, as contestants. So out of our Patreon members, uh, three of them will be chosen uh, and they can actually play to win prizes themselves, but they'll also be representing a lucky loony listener as well. So uh, oh, that's nice because these guys, they know their stuff. That Exactly. Exactly. Uh, And so what I want to do is I'll post up something soon. If you are interested to to submit your name in and be a lucky loony listener, just let us know and uh, and we'll draw we'll draw it on on the the night uh, and then one Petruni will represent potentially you. Uh, So there will be prizes, as I mentioned, um, both um, for the Petruni and the lucky loony listener. Not only is that it, but there's a slight change of format as well. Um, we were... Thankfully, I will not be asking <laughs> questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know the time difference is so, but I really wish somehow, Rebecca, we can get you in there somehow. I still um, might be there. I okay, still might okay. be there. I just, I won't be answering. I won't have the stress of answering questions. No worries. I well, I, I was just thinking of a way to work around the, you know how we don't have buzzers. So that's always hard as a game show. Mm-hmm. So I've changed the format slightly. Uh, and for those of you that have watched Oh my god, I can't remember what the name is called. But there's a game show. There is a brains trust, and we will have a brains trust of either Rebecca and myself plus um, three Marvel Moon Knight writers as well. That's right. So uh, fingers crossed, we'll have David Papos, uh, Erica Schultz, and Jed McKay as a brains trust. So um, the contestants have the ability to refer to the brains trust for a question that they don't know, and they'll get three answers from the brains trust, and that may or may not help them. Um, so yeah, scoring will be done that way. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I can't wait. I've reached out to the writers. Um, they're on board it's gonna be awesome. uh, and it's going to be so much fun. So yeah, get, get your names in, um, log in some interest. And as I mentioned, you can win some prizes. Uh, Rebecca and I, we, we've got a couple of prizes ready, kind of earmarked, hopefully. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So some should, more going maybe. Should, Who knows? Oh, more, even more. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So, Who knows? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so a bit of news on that front for ITK. As for Moon Knight itself, Rebecca, there were some solicitations for Vengeance of the Moon Knight, some um, variant covers that were released that looked pretty cool. Um, uh, and actually, I do That have... sounds likely. It's been a while. I don't remember them. But let's say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah they, they've got some great variants for it, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we'll go through some of them for issue one uh, as well. Uh, Rebecca, shall we... Shall we just dive right into this fantastic? Let's do it. So, yes, as I mentioned, Rebecca and I will be looking at Vengeance of the Moon Knight. It's a brand new run from Jed McKay and Alessandro Capuccio. And as I bring up the slides, for those of you that do have video uh, access to this episode. Um, I've got a few. Oh, that's not the one. <laughs> is it? It is. it is. No. Have we done it before? 
No, we haven't. That's just, yeah. It, it, no, this is right. This it, is right. It threw me because uh, in our previous episode, Rebecca, it started off with Greg Capullo as well. A, yeah. Yeah, Greg yeah. Capullo, yeah. Um, a lot of people did match, uh, did ones for both, so. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. So we'll see um, from here as well. Uh, so last, uh, we saw Greg Capullo before from issue 30. Uh, Rebecca, again, a very similar uh, cover here so that's kind of what threw me as yeah. well it, it's uh moon yeah, Knight, yeah. heroic stance uh fighting some people um but yeah it looks pretty cool um i don't know how else to describe it it looks pretty good yeah it looks it's, it's a nice uh it's a nice yeah. nice, it's a nice it's, cover it's got yeah. a little bit of a, a cape flap and a crescent moon kind of look there yeah uh, we got another one from alessandro capuccio uh so again similar to issue 30 he's got a variant cover this was the concept art for the new mm -hmm. moon knight which looks awesome suit. it's in negative uh so i don't know if it's a negative or if it's in real like i can't remember if the real at the end of this issue well, was it's negative to the other one isn't I, it? yeah it is negative. so we get the fantastic um with the i don't even know what you call those those weapons but Kind of the crescent moon axes that he he wields. Thing. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, they like double double sided ice picks, but not yeah. ice picks. God, yeah, pretty, I don't know what they're called either. Pretty, Someone will inform us, I'm sure. Pretty morbid, Mario. Some weapon. Oh yeah, guru. some weapons guru. <laughs> there, there was a weapons guru, uh, Rebecca, in in the um the Looney community. There was a person that actually yeah, crafted. There was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Yeah. Uh, another um, one from Alessandro, which looks awesome. I've got to get this one. It's a color. Yeah, it's like a colors one. from Rochelle that really, yeah, make hit it at home hard. for me. I mean, yeah, the art is fantastic, but oh my god! So it, it's just a heroic stance from the new Moon Knight again. New costume, the big kind of I don't know what you call it downturned crescent moon on the on the chest and the uh, yeah, the hat and then the crescent moon eyes that crescent look moon. like yeah. Grendel or Spawn, Grendel, whichever yes. your choice is. So cool. Uh, yeah. Um, weapons, so. Yeah. Now we've got a, a returning artist that has done one before from all the way back, I think, in issue one of the previous run, EM Gist. Um, I hope that's how you pronounce it. Fantastic. Uh, so. Yeah, a little bit more on the on those hatchets. <laughs> They're a bit bigger. Um, oh, hatchets is a good name oh, for me. Yeah. Maybe he's Hatchet Man. Hatch oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope not. Uh, oh, what if it's Randall? <gasps> no, I... Guess that's so long ago that I'm not even going there. What if it is? It ties into City of the Dead. Oh. Mario will back me up. I said that once. But oh like I, I I no, I've got a good new theory. Okay. I can't wait to hear your theory. Based I'm wanting purely it. on Lena's theory. Oh last week. Okay, okay. In the last one, yeah. No, that sounds good. I have the EM Gist cover, by the way. That's the one I went for. Oh, did you? you? Okay. Okay. I just Great. thought it was really beautiful. It looks so. awesome. I want to get more. I, I yeah. only got the standards. Um but that's because I've been so lax with my uh, no, no. L LCS. The, the standards are really nice as well. Yeah, actually, we've been quite lucky. So, but I want to get this. Is a, a there's a classic one here from Gene Olin. Fun. It looks yeah. like an old seventies pulp comic, and there yeah. goes Moon Knight, the Fist of Conchu. The Fist of Conchu. I love it. Oh, he's one of my favorite artists as well. So, fantastic. oh really? Yeah, just a Daredevil run, and um, nice. Oh, just fantastic. Uh, Such a beautiful cover. Beautiful. Uh, um, yeah. And now we go to. <laughs> so, so, sorry. Now we go to Frank Miller. Uh, look, Frank is a big name. In you the, know in what? The of all his covers, this was the is probably the nicest. It's the least offensive. But... So yeah. <laughs> um, interesting use of the cape there. Moon Knight coming at you uh, with a folded cape. Uh, so Frank, well done. The, the, I should also mention there are version variant covers to some of these covers as well. So there's even more variations. Um, in Hewitt Lee as well, again, uh, from last issue 30. He's got the hatchet in action. Hatchet in action, like. the blood moon, the black moon knight. It just, it's going off. So. Actually, the costume looks amazing. Oh, on that one. looks so good. So again, I don't know what incentive, which covers our incentives or not, but if you can pick up any of these, then consider yourself a lucky listener. Um, so yeah, uh, so fantastic stuff. Um. Rebecca, this issue came out the 3rd of January 2024. So it's the first issue of the new year for Moon Knight. Cover date March 2024. We've got writers Jed McKay and again, penciler inker Alessandro Capuccio. 
Colorist Rochelle Rosenberg, letterer VCs Corey Pettit, and editor Tom Bravort. Rebecca, we mentioned about this last episode. I think there is some value in having a consistent team. Um, I think there definitely is. Um, I'm guessing for them as well because they have a shorthand. They know what, you're not bringing people in, having to get them up to speed, yep. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so. absolutely. So, my gosh, as always, we will go through a synopsis of Bare Bones. Everything is spoiler-filled, so this is relatively a relatively new comic. Um, all our spoilery discussions are within the spoiler threads on a social media platform. Um, so just go read it and come back, or if you, you're happy to just um, listen along. Rebecca, can I thrust this upon you? Yes, you. let's do it. In the wake of Moon Knight's death, Reese and the rest of the congregation try to deal with the loss. Superheroes gather to mourn the loss, testament to the impact Moon Knight has had within the superhero community. After the grieving period, it's back to business as the Midnight Mission and its congregation hunt the streets to keep the night safe. Hunter's Moon, Soldier and Reese encounter Mr. Smile and Mr. Sulk, but it's the sessions with Dr. Sturman that really allow Reese to deal with her loss. Tigra takes a more direct approach and is out for vengeance, seeking answers to the whereabouts of Black Spectre. Eight Ball is the unluckiest of all and is pummeled senseless by an assailant. When Eight Ball comes crashing through the Midnight Mission's shop front window, it's none other than Moon Knight there, telling them all to get out of his house. Reese's fears have come to fruition. She's not afraid Moon Knight wouldn't return, she's afraid he'd come back bad. Yeah. Wow. Mm. What a rocketing, rocketing first issue this was, Rebecca. Overall imp- impressions, what did you make of it? Yeah, great. Loved it. Yeah, it was just – I'd actually – I'll probably go as far as to say I, I enjoyed it more than issue one of the previous series. I think it just – maybe with all the history that we have from the previous series – this one being the first. I enjoyed all the callbacks. I we had a lot more context. We weren't being introduced to these characters new. Um, right, so I'd put it on par. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Mm. Um, I mean, look, you open with you open with a splash page of eight ball hurt. We're all on board. <laughs> We're all want to save that man. Everyone's kind of running to the you know. I do not know going a on? man that people want to save as much as eight ball. <laughs> Not after seeing him in the tub, right? So, yeah, of course. I was going to say, yeah. especially eight ball in the tub. Yeah, but like, exactly. <laughs> um, look, I agree with you as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, you Even Mark can... wants to save him. You know, like <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah. just wants to save this man. Well, Mark's, Mark's really weird because, yeah, he wants to save him, but he wants to kind of poke him every now and again just to make sure. I mean, he wants he's... to hassle him as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> just to make sure he's kept in line. Um, but, yeah, no secrets He's here. not a bully. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. pause. But um, yeah. yeah, no secrets here. I, I loved it as well. I, I thought it was a fantastic um, opening. Um, I think it's a good springboard. I think Rebecca for for those that have not read the previous run, I haven't really given it much thought. But I think I haven't either. I'd love to know if anyone picks yeah. this up as their first. Is it confusing? Like, uh, yeah. Or yeah, would it be confusing? I, I think I, I think it probably works. I, I think it would be my gut feeling. Yeah, because. The the cover art of the regular um, issue, anyway, Rebecca. I think it evokes something totally different. It's like, as you said, like it's more of a Grendel Spawn vibe to it. There's there seems to be mm. a darker tone, and we know, I don't know, Vengeance of the Moon Knights obviously sounds a lot more aggressive than just Moon Knight. So uh, it may have drawn in maybe a few more punters. I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, and and there'll be some interest in who the new Moon Knight is over the watching him die. So, yeah. yes. uh, you know, there's always, I know my friends have been talking about who is it, maybe I'll check it out, um, you know, not really said anything to them because I think they should have been reading the rest of the run, but you know, okay. <laughs> oh, so, I mean, any friends of mine that are reading the run is, you know, like, <laughs> he's there, he's cut off, you know, cut off. That, that's, yeah, that's I mean, like, Ozzy only just gets yeah. away with it, you know. <laughs> Um, so, like as as always, what Rebecca and I'll do, we'll, we'll try to go through some key beats to this issue. I think the first one, Rebecca, would be um, would be the the cameo appearance. I reckon from the, the greater Marvel universe. I mean, I spoke about seeing more of the Marvel universe in the previous issue, the, the finale. Yeah, you did. It was and, uh, yeah. this is very well done. Mm-hmm. 
we have the funeral or they don't have a body so funeral yeah. such as it is they they sit shiver for him which is what we do in our first initial seven days of mourning mm -hmm. it involves the usually the family but in this case they've done it as well mm -hmm. um sitting on lower seats so you know who the grievers are okay uh yeah. you say prayers everyone brings food i know mario yeah, made a that. comment about yeah. bringing a casserole yeah. so the reason the reason everyone brings food is because the imp the the idea is like so everyone brings food and it's not always a casserole there'll be like sandwiches cakes everything the idea is that if you're in mourning if you've just lost someone that close to you and it's usually like parents children siblings uh obviously partners then um you'll be too upset to look after yourself okay so the food is to say this is so you don't have to cook there's just food there if you feel hungry uh, in the same way we have a thing like you're not supposed to ask anyone how they are when mm. they're in mourning because the idea is it's obvious it's how obvious. they are and you don't yeah. want them to have to say how they are so i thought that was very nicely done um the obviously ben's adorable they reference because so what somebody asked me out of the blue was mm. well did ben and moon knight have any kind of relationship and mm -hmm. i'm well funnily enough earlier on in in the run you know jed wrote that ben always sends him a hanukkah card mm. so like we already have that link placed in this run yes like then they may be not friends but there, there's a connection there enough that reese etc know who to go to ask about a proper jewish funeral yes um and uh so when they talk about so she talks about later uh, then she makes the joke about them not having catering for her because mm. she's a vampire <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah we do we cover the mirrors so yes that was that, on the tv show as well right yeah yeah so yeah. that's so you don't see yourself crying mm. Okay. You don't see yourself red-eyed and crying. Right. And it, it's all about sort of protecting the grievers from anything else right. that might happen. So you bring them the food, you bring them this. Yeah. They sit on lower chairs so you know exactly who they are. Mm -hmm. So you're not walking into a room if you maybe... Because a lot of the synagogue congregation will come around just to join the prayers. Yeah. Um, you won't necessarily know who everyone is. You know exactly who they are. So the attendees at the funeral from the wider Marvel Universe mm -hmm. are... Clea and Doctor Strange. Uh, Clea, who, as we know, is a big friend of Moon Knight. Doctor Strange, less so. <laughs> uh, Hawkeye and Mockingbird. Yep. Which is funny because, of course, they've not been together for a while. No. Um, Captain America, Steve. Yep. In his outfit, in his Captain all, America suit. Always professional. <laughs> Tony Stark in his business suit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know who the guy at the back is. I guess it could be anyone. Oh, yeah, I haven't got it in front of me as well. Actually, but... it looks like it could, like, it could be it's Soldier. soldier. I think honest. it's Soldier. I yeah, think it's Soldier. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, and then in the front, you have Eight Ball Tigra. But in the suits, we saw them in, in the cover. Yeah. And um, so then, so this is all done in the context of Reese talking to Dr. Sturman. So she's and and this is where you I think this is kind of almost touching on what you said in the last podcast mm. about getting to see some of the rest of the the Marvel universe. Yeah. Um. So she says because we were sitting shiver, we can't go out and work. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, the all the other heroes step in to take the beats. Yeah. I mean, a lot of them work on the streets anyway and do these things, but um. But you know they're checking in on and all the people um they're checking on on sort of jake's community on everyone else's community the superheroes are stepping in to uh to do the thing well, and then we get back to work this is a, a question as well rebecca as I, I just saw a, um an article from marvel.com i hadn't read it um does moon knight uh, they may have elaborated on it but th does moon knight um and the midnight mission is, is do you know if that's in a particular precinct of new york that I don't know. Yeah, because uh, um, it sounded like from that article that he, that Luke Cage has Harlem, Daredevil has Hell's Kitchen, and Moon Knight has this particular area as well. But I just don't know where it is. And, yeah, it, it's interesting. And oh, we can ask Chad. Everyone oh, yeah. remind us to ask Chad <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. what, what, what borough he's um, in. 
but as as you were mentioning, uh, you're right. Everyone does their own kind of street um, heroics. But uh, I wonder if yeah, this there's a particular territory. I mean, not that usually does. Cap. No, no, you know. yeah, which I found interesting. Yeah, because I he's got a he's different level, right? He's he's like yeah. Um, uh, but Hawkeye potentially. Um, and Doctor Strange, to be honest, oh, is not often. No. I mean, like he does, but he's not recently. So but, that's kind of cool to see. Yeah, but in that in that recap, I, again, I don't have the comic in front of me. That kind of in the past look, there was Cap there. Hawkeye was it Doctor Strange as well? Was he doing stuff? To... Yeah, yeah, oh, clear okay. and Doctor Strange. Oh, okay. Um, because I'm guessing she brought him. <laughs> yeah. What well, if anyone who was reading Jed's Doctor Strange, Ryan, you'd know how <laughs> awesome it is. Are you reading it, Rebecca? I'm reading it on and off, but delayed yeah. on Marvel Universe. Yeah, so yeah. I'm a bit behind. Oh, there's a, some weird kind of parallel universe. Really awesome. Like, uh, there's a there's a Doctor Strange from an alternate reality called the General, and he has been at war for five thousand years. So he's five thousand years oh. worth of experience of war, and it's twisted him. Um, anyway, so Doctor Strange goes up against him. It's it's awesome stuff. Um, so yeah, he definitely does more than just your street level <laughs> street level stuff. Uh, but yeah, it was it was. You're right. It, it is addressed. Um, we we do see the greater community do stuff um, in Mark's uh, absence. Um, so yeah, it, it was good. I, I found it very interesting to hear you speak of, um, you know, the grieving process, Rebecca, um, and um, the she. And in case that, so, the other thing they mentioned was he asked who the showmare was. Uh, so if we're going to go through all the terminology they use, that is. Yeah. The person who watches the body. Okay. Because we tend to bury people as quickly as we can, like mm -hmm. within 48 hours. Okay. Usually, uh, depending on what day of the week it was, if there's a Jewish festival, uh, if we, we obey the law of the land. So like for when like when my dad died, mm -hmm. there we had to wait for um not an investigation because it wasn't an investigation. We had to wait. You have to wait till they're certified dead. And for some reason that took a bit longer. Mm -hmm. So it's just as soon as you can, once that's all done. Yeah. Um, so you have someone from the Beth Din, which is the, the local sort of in charge gang. And they will quite often, they watch the body to make sure it's not disturbed mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, and then she says, well, we didn't have a body, so we didn't do it. So when they say Shamira, that's, it's, same same Hebrew form. They they didn't do it. We just went straight to the the. We don't have a funeral, but we want to do the shiva, okay. which is really nice. Very very nice of them. I mean, she does say that Mark didn't want a funeral, which is like, Mark, what did you think was going to happen, mate? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm sorry, Mark. I um, mean, it's different from gonna... saying that he wanted to be cremated yeah, or he yeah. wanted oh, no, to no, have sure. a yeah. humanitarian service, but like he didn't want a funeral at all. Yeah. I mean, it's going to happen. You yeah, know, so. yeah. I mean, because like the funeral, of course, it's it's a com to commemorate, but it's pretty much for those loved ones as well right uh, left behind so um you can't deprive them of that as well uh there's also i think rebecca a, a, i think a small beat or maybe not more not maybe bigger than small <laughs> um but the next thing i found interesting was the conversations with dr sturman and reese and the yeah, so yeah it's, i was gonna say it carries on mirroring yeah. um the beginning of the moon Knight run is like not only did we end Moon Knight with Reese um, saying, welcome to the mission, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have her in therapy with Dr. Sturman mm. about dealing with Mark's death. And so she, Sturman's still part of the extended family. And what we didn't mention was this issue is called Reese. Reese, yeah, e exactly. Um, yeah. I found it interesting as well. No, for sure. I mean, all, all the kind of mirroring of the previous series as well. But, I mean, Dr. Sermon raises a good point as well. Uh, and Reese reciprocates um, even better. Um, she says something along the lines of, like, are you sure this is the line of work that you want to be doing? Like, you're 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Like, do you yeah. want to be doing this? And Reese goes, Doc, I'm a vampire. Like, not, I'm 19 forever, so <laughs> I'm not I'm not missing out on my teenage years yeah. because I'm going to be a teenager forever. And I think that was pretty smart from Jed McKay to say that. Um, yeah. But she is driven, and and what it kind of shows us is that she is intent on carrying this out. And and yeah, yeah. and she also very healthily says, "I don't think I'm a fist of conscience. Yeah. I don't think I'm a superhero." Yeah. 
this is just a job I've inherited. Uh, I'm not going to call myself Moon Knight. Mm. Um, <laughs> shows how much more healthy she is about it than. But then yeah. again, like like you said in the last podcast, we're reminded she's only 19. Mm. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, I mean, she is totally. She has a very sensible approach to it as well, and and yeah. she has dispelled any notion that we think that, as you said, yep, apart yeah, from the solicitations. Not... Yeah, she's definitely not going to be. Um, but she she is involved, and for all intents, she still leads them. I mean, there's that nice heroic splash page of them walking out of the midnight mission after the mm-hmm. grieving process. Let's go get some blood. Very typical Jed kick ass kind of moment. It is funny because it's yeah. almost like somebody else might say let's go get burgers yeah. but like it's not <laughs> i mean she's clearly not inviting them to go and eat but like yeah. i could misread it that way given that she's a vampire yeah. so it made me do a bit of a oh that's quite sweet yeah so. no true um again i mean moving on from this we get another pa- not to say patented but another um jed mckay deep dive a deep cut into had you heard of these people before mr sulk and mr smile they look pretty freaky to me. Uh, they reminded me of there's some characters in Neverwhere. Oh. Um, I'm just looking at the characters. Is that Gaiman ones. you're talking about? Uh, the Neil Gaiman yeah, book, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Croup and Mr. Vandermark. Ah. And they really, really reminded me of these guys. But um, I looked them up and their Doctor Strange deep dive ah. barely appeared. Oh, which anything. makes sense. A real, um, a real Jed McKay. Yeah. Like, barely, like, three appearances or like yeah. one appearance so they were doctor strange five and vengeance of the moon knight one so that's their <laughs> okay but they're pretty cool i mean like yeah what is actually... mark wade creation so like doctor strange oh, from okay. 2020 what is even cooler i think as well because i thought i don't know about you rebecca when uh soldier and reese were encountering them i thought we were going to see the first glimpse of the new mm. moon knight because me too yeah, yeah and i you know what else i love about them though just while mm. we're quick they seem very un moon knight villains yeah uh yeah i don't know why Ghost Rider they just... villains or something yeah, right? yeah 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 or yeah. doctor strange Definitely. you know like um uh really like them uh so, yeah yeah that, that whole talking about them referencing to their names but if you ever watch or read neverwhere there is this couple in that that go right throughout mr group and mr vanderbar they're very similar <laughs> um i'd love to see um because you know i'm assuming this is one of many escapades that they have during the night to keep the the travelers of, of the night safe yeah i'd love to see if we do ever get annuals this year i'd love to see like other, what other that would be great yeah like it? just expand it a bit more just to see what other terrors await um because yeah. from memory so rebecca i don't know if you have it there was there another maybe it was just mr sulk and mr smile but i thought there was someone something oh, else. i don't remember no, i think no. there was something else but it was much shorter yeah yeah um, but it would be really cool to see i think that would be good no, but going back to what you said mm. yes i absolutely thought this was when yeah. we were going to see the first new moon night but no no we don't instead we get hunter's moon and and this actually is really cool because we we've known this already but um we see another aspect of the fist of oh, it's this is the best yeah. entry isn't it, isn't it cool i mean like it's, it's everything about this is awesome yeah it, it's i mean of course you call the fist of country but it's not all about the fists as well and so what hunter's moon does is he just uh, he exercises <laughs> these demons he just turns up and like that splash page is like that splash page dude, is awesome whoever buys you that, are yeah well in your territory now oh, You're loving it it is fantastic whoever whoever is lucky enough to pick up that original art hats off to you oh, but yeah. um yeah so hunter's moon um diffuses the whole situation by exercising them uh and i love the little interchange afterwards i think um <laughs> it's in a race she goes oh what, what did you do could you teach me that and he starts telling her and she goes i'll oh, forget it <laughs> yeah and he's like he's a bit grumpy what? never mind because <laughs> yeah. it's like it's just been so boring <laughs> so um no so that was really great as well it was good to see um i think uh was it mario or lena mentioned last episode that you know the support cast didn't have much to do so it was kind of good to see them you know in this regards um at least hunter's moon i mean soldier mm-hmm. still hasn't done much well 
soldier's out on. Yeah. I mean, he's got his gun. He's yeah. out on patrol with Reese. Oh yeah, he's, and he's, he's a, doing as much as Reese. He's a vampire. She's just better at it. Oh yeah. <laughs> which, which, actually, I love I love seeing that as well because you definitely see the difference in experience. Like Soldier yeah. still is doing his tried and true kind of army training or whatever. I love that he goes, she love his shoot set and says, oh, they're bulletproof. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's really good. Um, and we see Hunter's Moon. Another point, though, we, we also see what, what happens to another one of the support cast, Tigra, and... Mm. This was awesome. Again, testament to Capuccio's art, which again is immaculate in this issue. Oh. Um, she turns quite feral and and de- demonic. I mean, yeah. that warehouse art mm. and coloring. I don't think we've seen coloring like that before. That green misty. That's just beautiful. Uh, is- yeah, Tigra is full on angry. Mm. Yeah, and that's uh, an incredible splash page as well. I love how all all of the people that Mark has touched have different reactions to mm-hmm. to his death. I mean, and, and of course, Tigra, they had, I mean, it was confirmed a new relationship, um, which, mm. which had blossomed. Um, so of course, but also she, a long term friendship. Lo- so yeah. it's like it's yeah, yeah. But you know, even the likes of Soldier, um, who is absolutely dedicated to Mark, and and. He he reacts in more of a like a military kind of form. I mean, that's the best yeah. way he knows how. And and then Reese takes on the mantle because she feels an onus to 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 keep the midnight mission running. So I love how we got these different dynamics happening with everyone. Um, but Tigra's one is interesting, and she literally butt heads um, butts heads with Reese <laughs> in it, which again I thought was really great artwork. I, I just remember staring at both of them. Literally forehead yeah, to forehead. Like forehead to forehead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really good. So it doesn't matter what Mark wanted, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> um I mean, finally also we get um it kind of rounds out too, because it started off with eight ball being kind of pummeled, uh, and yeah. then the sessions, and then we get eight ball again. So the big moment um for this episode or issue Rebecca is is eight ball. Um and he He's trying to get away, but he gets absolutely hammered by this person, oh, by Moon Knight. We know. By Moon Darts. By who? <laughs> by Moon Darts in his ankle. Oh, Moon Yeah, Moon Darts as well. And then I just remember his helmet crashing apart as he's just getting yeah, hit. Yeah, so he's being chased. Yeah. And you see the shadow of a moon. Then you see Moon Darts heading yeah. towards him. They all go into his calf, oh. not his ankle. Sorry oh. for anyone who wants to... Uh, then you see the big swooping of the new Moon Knight. Yeah. With uh, a very cool moon behind him. And then you see the helmet go. Now, Rebecca, I, I'm after everything that we've said in this episode and previous episode, I'm now like, I'm not going, I'm not totally convinced it's Zodiac. I mean, the build no. is is huge. I've right? got a new theory. I told you. Yeah. What What is the theory? Come on, hit, hit me with it. So, this is based on what Lena said mm-hmm. last time. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Yeah. That it's Konshu. Yes. My new theory is what if it's one of those first moon nights that had been hanging around in Hunter's Moon? Oh, when he was of bad course. resurrected. That was a, uh, of course. I mean, that that was alluded to in Hunter's Moon, that like how he's got this the first, yeah, isn't it yeah. called the first? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, because that hasn't so been touched upon. Yeah, yeah. So it's alluded. I mean, it kind of Ooh, I like equates it. with Lena's, but it's like uh, not Conchu himself, but one of these dudes because they were also like completely unhinged, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, who's unhinged? <laughs> and that that counts Zodiac and those old old dead Moon Knights. And look, I, I'm probably reaching here as well, but there's there's a sense of them being at, out of time, and that could explain it as well. You know, you could you could interpret this person as a bit more barbaric. I mean, just with the actions and I stuff, mean, and maybe I being a bit. I still think I still think Zodiac's up there in the running. But he, I mean, he has no been... no. I, I mean, he jacked up. He's or... no. I don't know. Yeah. What do they look jacked up? We don't really see. He looks them huge. That much. Moon Knight looks huge in the in the last splash page, doesn't he? Compared well, to Zodiac, Zodiac, you can you remember Zodiac? Yeah, in the suit. he does. Look yeah, huge. but he looks too huge to be inhabiting Mark's body as well. Oh, <gasps> manslaughter Marsdale. What if it's him? Oh, <laughs> 
Man Mountain Marco. Is he not? Is he what not blind, it... dead, and whatever? <laughs> I'm just thinking of big, big people. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He looks huge. Um, you're right. He does. I don't know. I can't see that as being Zodiac, but I can see it as being either a reanimated corpse or an older Moon Knight. It's way bigger than Mark. It's way bigger it's than Mark. A oh, okay, yeah, but but it, so it could be then a reanimated. Corpse of an older Moon Knight, or whatever you know. However, I that yeah, works. I, I yeah. do not know. I'm sure. I'm sure we will get that that soon. Eddie Brock. Um, <laughs> <It's> Eddie Brock. <laughs> I don't know. Just, is that just because I was rude about Venom last no. week? <laughs> no, just, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I like that theory. Venom, I still think Zodiac's a good theory. I think the Conchie one's interesting. I think the first are there. I think so that's. that's uh, I think that's definitely kind on the of card. Like a secondary to and um, absolutely. On yeah, the I'm just, uh, but I'm less certain of it. I think there's a lot more possibilities. Uh, loony listeners, if you are listening right now, I'm what like... if it's a manifestation of the mission? Oh, so that ties into the deal of Zodiac. You let me go. Yeah, I'm just, if... that's a random grab there. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 okay. I, can't, I don't know why the mission would want to be attacking beautiful eight ball either. But he would want to be protecting the house. Get out of my house. So um... yeah, but none of these people are actually dangerous for the house. I mean, like that's the thing. And it's, it's like, a totally weird thing to say, right? So it's a weird yeah. situation. Yeah. I don't know. That that's re- again, like Jed, hats off. I mean, we're guessing. We don't know. The my house makes me think Zodiac again. I don't know. I know that that does make me think, but I'm just put off by the physicality. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I was thinking again. We were talking about Rutherford Winner. He he doesn't look like that as well. So it's, it's... he doesn't. But I, he's yeah. always like any Jed creation will always be up there as a guess. What if it's Vibro? Is it Vibro? What if it's take Yugi. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's not Vibro. Vi- I don't think it's Vibro. I think we can count him out. Okay. Still I in think. the hospital with the um with the, the beeping light. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that generally counts people out. Look, Randall's still in there now. Randall. It could be Randall. Yeah, yeah. No, it's only because of hatchets. Yeah, ex- like, exactly. exactly. Like, exactly. Like, I think the last time I suggested it randomly was just because he was in... Uh, City of the Dead. This time it's lit. It's because we've decided to call those weapons hatchets. I've no idea if that's even what they're called. Like someone is going to come through yeah. and say they are not called hatchets, dude. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So black. Oh, okay. Wacky one out there. I don't know what. I don't know what T'Challa is into at the moment, but it could be him. Look, he took over Daredevil. <laughs> remember back in the day? Yeah, but he's not Take baddie. Over. No, but like I don't I mean, know. I mean, his oh, it could be. Could be Danny. <laughs> could be Danny. <laughs> he's not got the iron fist anymore. He could be angry, yeah. And he's got the money. Yeah, it could be. But I don't know why he'd do it. So Loonies, we've obviously opened the 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 floor as to who it could be. Let us know what you think. Um, it, it's uh, let us know what those weapons are called, please. Yes, please. Put us out of our misery. Some weapons <laughs> expert, please. Uh, Rebecca, Obviously, this issue has given us a lot of joy. What would you give this one? This is the first oh, to man, kick off. Look at... hmm? uh, yeah, let's go. I'll go 10 as well. Yeah. I, mean, maybe, I think if I was doing Mario, maybe 9.9, but we have, we've only ever done half, so yeah. I'm going 10. Yeah, I'd look, I'd great, as it should. That's a correct answer, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, 10 out of 10 as well. Yeah, this, this was a fantastic run. Um, I, I, again... I'm not sure how it would work for with um, you know, people coming onto, but it, it's still a ripper of a read. But I, yeah, I think it's a pretty good yeah. opening read, actually. Like having yeah. just flicked back through it. But I guess it would would someone know who Eight Ball is and and what they are? But I guess you get well, the gist really of them part to. of. Nah, you're I right. I mean, you're right. yeah, they don't need to. Yeah. So no, it, it's really cool. Uh, ten out of ten. Rebecca gives it a ten as well. Loonies. Um, we're off to a great start in 2024 to bumper issues. And we do have also, as we move on to our quotation yeah. marks, our loony feedback. So we've got a bit, a fair bit from here, uh, Rebecca, both from Instagram and YouTube as well. I oh, know, that's cool. Uh, do you want to kick us off with, oh, I don't know, maybe the Instagram ones? or? Yeah, I'll do yep. the Instagram ones. Right. So um, Tarrant Tsunami, I'm digging it. <laughs> Excellent. Rafe 
isn't. Uh, I still haven't checked the issue, but I saw Eight Ball getting beaten and didn't like it. Agreed. It goes, it, you go on the you go in the good side exactly. of comments. <laughs> it goes um, Mario's. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, Lunchbox Comics. I'm genuinely intrigued by this new series after loving the previous run. I've already pre-ordered all the variants wow. and for issues one to four, and will continue through this run when the last issue. Oh, continue through this run when the last issue ended. All I wanted was it to be Zodiac. Pissed because he doesn't have Mark to play his games with anymore, and the whole deal he made with the issue, but after issue one's ending, I'm even more curious of how it's going to go. Oh, this is it. Jed just waves a web. Um, thank you so much, Lunchbox Comics. Um, yeah, exactly. I'm glad that you're on board for the ride as well. Uh, Raf Rafael Santos, uh, yes, um, we know he, he provided a lot of artwork for us, Rebecca, before. Uh, thanks for yeah, your comments yeah. as well. Uh, Raphael, check out his Instagram. He's doing great stuff, great guns on, on his artwork. And Taron Tsunami as well. Uh, I believe Taron's been on our show too as well. Uh, Taron's a great um, content creator as well. Go check it out. Uh, he does a lot of stuff on um, comics and games and, and toys as well. So uh, thanks for writing in. Uh, from Facebook, uh, we get another comment here from John Shepard. Um, big into this. Really like the development of Reese and love that they kept the therapist on board. Uh, me too as well, Rebecca. I think we mentioned it's a nice little kind of cyclical way to yeah. to come back um, and have Reese in the in the in the seat in the hot seat. Uh, no idea who the new Moon Knight is yet. Given McKay's narrative foibles, it could be anyone. Heck, I wondered if prior to dying as a backup, Mark made a deal with another Moon entity so oh that he God, could return. Doctor Strange, like yeah, oh, so that he could he could return <laughs> if needed. Rebecca, there you go. However, has he got a twin? Yeah, that's what we need to know. Oh God, don't tell me he's got a, a third brother, a second brother. However, it's just as likely to be another deep cut villain, and everyone else forgot about. I mean, it's it's not untrue. It could it could be an, another villain, right? Like just someone. That's why he's I said, just yeah, never been in anything before. <laughs> Which I, I think would be a little disappointing because you'd want. I think it'd be funny. Yeah, like I, funny. I think I think Jed could <gasps> sell us on it, but I think it'd be very funny. Rebecca, it would be Mailman. What? what if it's Mailman? <laughs> oh my god, that would be the dream. And maybe that's why he was teasing us in the last podcast. Okay, add that to the theory board. <laughs> that's the theory that that's got a lot of credibility. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, John. Uh, as well, great to hear from you too. Thanks for kind of um, jumping in and letting letting us know your thoughts interesting to know i don't know we we have no idea as you can tell rebecca and i have no idea we're throwing everything at the wall um everything we're going with everything <laughs> um terence robinson a long time listener said i enjoyed how they structured it like moon Knight number one yeah i still feel like it's zodiac yeah um i think he's the front runner rebecca you'd say yeah yeah yep. Um, and do you want to take Mario's one? Mario's yeah, I'll take Mario's yeah. again. Eight ball, no! <laughs> now that I have that out of the way, that was a great issue. There's a couple of panels I was a little shaky on. Ben reaction to the Hanukkah card okay. and the Let's Get This Bloodline, which I'm assuming is a riff on Let's Get This Bread. Uh -huh. But overall, it hit the ground running. Every member of the supporting cast gets a look in, except for William. True. But I'm guessing it was after his bedtime. I should hope so. <laughs> and the opening mystery is set up well. Mm -hmm. The shiver scene was now perfect based on my outsider's knowledge of Judaism. Someone always brings a casserole. <laughs> it's likely for the best that almost every character who's been suggested as the new Moon Knight, MK2 for short, <laughs> is ruled out except for two, Zodiac and a brought back wrong Mark Spector. Mm. We've added to those two. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not sure if we're meant to think it's Mark because Reese believes it is or that it isn't Mark because a swerve is coming. Or maybe we're meant to expect a swerve and Jed is tricking us by making it obvious. <laughs> I'm dizzy now. We even get a patented deep cut with Mrs. Sulk and Smile, who last and first appeared in Doctor <laughs> Strange Surgeon Supreme number five back in 2020. Oh, wasn't that long ago? Okay. No. Okay. Uh, I said it was a Mark Wade run. Yeah. yeah um, yes. The art is great. The coloring is great. The wait for issue two is too long. 9.9 .9 out of 10. P.S. Further evidence for Zodiac as Moon Knight 2. There's no zealot like a convert, right? Oh, Mario, you are onto yeah, something. You see? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but thank you so much, Mario, as well. There's a lot there to unpack. Uh, 
as well. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, there are a couple of theories. Rebecca and I have posited a couple more there just to get things started. And I think this really does um, encapsulate, Rebecca, what I mentioned earlier about how although, you know, we're, we're guessing Jed's stuff and although we may or may not hit the mark, we are still left spinning, trying to figure things out. And that's testament to yeah. Jed's writing. So um, yeah. thank you so much, Jed. It, it's so much fun. To, to try and figure this out. Um, it's really fun yeah. because it's like a lot of these things, like we'd enjoy it, whatever the answer is. Yeah, exactly. Because we exactly. know will make it work. And I think that that takes a lot of the pressure off. It's like, it doesn't matter if it's not the person you've predicted nah. and you're not right because you know you'll have fun on the journey. Yeah. I, I, and there'll be a reason. Like he will have explained why. Yes, exactly. And, and he has done so like very well. I, I, doubt, I don't know, Rebecca, maybe I've got the rose-colored glasses on, but I doubt there'd be any negatives, like any whatever happens or whoever it is, unless it's someone totally silly, um, like Deadpool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, don't I, think, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there'll be any negative. I can't see any negative feedback. I mean, you mentioned earlier as well that there has been – and, and Jed has alluded to it as well. I, I haven't seen that much. Any negative comment on Jed's work? I, I think it's been pretty solid. It's it's hard to kind of... You mean on Moon Knight or generally? Yeah, no, just on Moon Knight. Yeah, just on Moon Knight. Um, uh, no, not really. No. I've, um, no. No, no. I think it's... I mean, Jed's obviously aware of some of the things as well. Like, he probably does dip his toe in on some comments here and there. But, like, I, th I, think, um, I think he's doing really good. Uh, it's hard to see... Whoever's revealed can be, um, yeah, unfavorable towards anyone. So yeah, um, I think the thing is, he usually gives us a good reason for things. Yes, so yeah, that's why said. I'm kind of good with it. Regardless, yeah, I've got a lot of faith in it as well. So, mm. um, so thank you once again, all the loonies, um, fellow Murnot fans, for for dropping in your thoughts. Uh, it's very interesting. Everyone seems to be on the same page. Can't wait. Please get more feedback in. Let us know what you think. Um, it's not that long before Rebecca and I will return for um Fitness Yeah, when is this issue two? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I'm going to look it up. But in the meantime, Rebecca, uh, spectacle-wise, uh, is there anything that you want to give a shout-out to? Um, uh, no, I think last time I said I'd just done the Iron Fist podcast. Um yeah. I guess the DCAU one we'll yep. probably have recorded by the time this one goes up. Yep. Uh, yep. So this will go up around mid January. I'm hoping as well, yeah. like, um, uh, hoping as well, go check out uh, Predator and Prey, um, the Hoju clan, myself, Justin, and Russell. Sparky, a, a big shout out to Sparky. Um, just obviously, just life stuff happening at the moment, a bit too busy. Um, but hopefully, we can touch base with sparky on the show every now and again but really do appreciate sparky's fandom and um hope you wishing sparky all the best um a new episode should be coming out soon as well uh and seren and i uh, we have been trying to pinpoint a date to to talk about the new spider woman gang war nice. yeah, with, yeah um, i want to hear about that that'd be awesome stuff so Keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. Uh, there's plenty of content coming as well. I want to also shout out, just in general, the collective. I think they're doing some great stuff. Um, uh, yeah. Capes and Lunatics, Phil, he, he keeps the the candle burning bright there. Uh, there's plenty of content. Go check it out. Um, just in general, um, Sons of the Dragon as well. Uh, the Last Sons of Krypton, they're still going great with Superman. Uh, there's plenty of stuff. Uh, Resurrections, the Adam Warlock podcast as well. Um, Inner Demons, I could go on and on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Rebecca. Yeah, this will be actually cool. Uh, Vengeance, by the way, yes. issue two is, is uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. So they'll be after oh, our three. Right. Yeah. yeah, that'll be after our three hundred and fiftieth. So, um, yeah. that's cool. And hopefully, then as well, on top of the game show, we can Rebecca and I can invite Jed back on, and we can have a good old chat. He did say as well, Rebecca, um, in some correspondence that he'd be keen to, to jump yeah. back on. So, I'd you know, we we always love having him back on. Yeah, it'd be great to Let's chat with him. Um, so keep your ears out for that too as well. Uh, finally, I think I've mentioned uh, to uh, about the collective. Go check them all out. Uh, they're fantastic. Um, as well as a huge thanks to our Patrunis, uh, Odin, Odin Sword, Frank Dukes, uh, Fringe Knight, Daniel doing. Daniel's going great. Hope you're doing well, Daniel. He's doing some great cosplay at the moment. Uh, and, yeah, and all our other sponsors too. The collective, go check out any of the shows. It's all in the links. 
um, uh, by way of whoop, by way of contact feedback at itkmoonlight.com. We've got the website. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Discord, and Blue Sky as well. I'll get all this updated in the new year. Mm. But um, just, just yeah, let us know. Um, I've been only on and off, Rebecca, on Blue Sky. Uh, I'm not sure about yourself. Yeah, but, I like it there. I hang out there. Fairly. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to hang out there a bit more as well, try to kind of um, keep on posting stuff there. But, yeah, yeah, you can catch us on any of those. Hit us up on Discord or even just email us as well. I always love an old email. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Got to love an email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love him. Uh, I'm really old. That's uh, um <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, as always, has been fantastic. Oh, I forgot to mention, next episode, keep your eyes and ears peeled. Um, we'll, we'll go back to the moon phases because we don't we, we don't have a new epi- nice. issue until Valentine's Day. So yeah. um, let's just see what the moon gives us. And, um, yeah. Yeah, but, Rebecca, a huge thank you once again. Yes, it's been great to catch up, and I'm glad we're back on top of things. Oh, me too as well. We're on track, yeah. baby. I think we both get a bit stressed when we're not. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think it's our nature. Um, yeah. But as always, loonies, thanks once again, and as always, may Conchie watch over the denizens of the night. Catch you later. Moonite and affiliated characters, stories and events are properties of Marvel Characters Incorporated. Materials used and discussed within the podcast are intended for critique and review purposes only under the fair dealing concept of the current Copyright Act. The views, information or opinions expressed during the podcast are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent those of the copyright owners.